Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So my cabbage here is doing very well. So I've got cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower in this bed. I've got it covered because it's been pretty warm. I mean, it was like 90 yesterday. So I've got these growing in here, but I do have a problem with pests. And I believe it's cabbage loopers. I haven't found any in there, but I do see the holes that kind of indicate to me that it's cabbage loopers. So I'm gonna spray it once more. I did once before, uh, that was about a week ago. I'm gonna go through and spray once more, make sure I wipe out that problem. Now the other bed right over there also has cabbage and those started having some problems, but when I sprayed it, it went away. And it seems like they're not there anymore, but they're still here. So I'm gonna bring you guys in, show you what I mean, and then we'll go ahead and start spraying. As you can see here, we've got quite a bit of holes on like this cabbage here see all those holes and they're all over um, every single one of these has it so let's go ahead and start spraying and hopefully this knocks out the issue and by the way what I'm spraying here is called BT it's organic it's natural pesticide it's just a natural bacteria that actually forms in the soil and it doesn't hurt humans I mean, I wouldn't go drinking this, but it definitely hurts bugs and only specific kinds. So this one, for instance, targets the cabbage loopers or any of the worms. Let's get in on the other side. It doesn't seem to affect people. So that's a good thing. All right, there we go. So that's all sprayed. This should take care of the issue. I'll wait a couple days to see if it does, if I see any new holes, but I believe that's it. I mean, they say you can do it up to four times. I might need to again, we'll see, but hopefully this kills whatever's on there currently, and then we'll figure it out, you know, in another week or two. We are looking great in here, guys. It has now been about a week. Today is March 23rd, and I mean, these grew quite a bit since then since I sprayed last and you can see I've got a couple holes on some of the leaves that are older leaves what I was worried about with the BT but all the newer leaves there is not one with a hole anything in the center here so these are looking great I don't think I have to worry too much about this all right let's take a look at the broccoli and cauliflower over here and we can see holes on the older leaves the ones that are further down not much you can see them right there okay but all the newer leaves are looking pristine i still do not have broccoli heads coming up though yet but maybe that'll happen soon however we did take care of the pest problem so that bt stuff works great i mean it did work before when i did it on the other bed but for some reason it didn't take on this one but that second coat wiped out any issue so pretty excited about that so there we go guys definitely definitely works if you guys are having problems and pests with any kind of worm or caterpillar or something like that um, mainly cabbage loopers but there's other ones that this bt takes care of basically most worms so if you're having a problem with it definitely check out bt uh, this is the best i've ever seen my cabbage or broccoli uh, i always always have problems with cabbage loopers so they're doing great and i'm gonna tell you i think this is helping as well you know when it's covered they're just not seeing it as easily unless they're coming in like this or on the other side so that's helping but they definitely were in there I mean, you could see all the holes in some of those leaves and now we don't have that and like i talked about last time we have these cabbage and the same thing we've got some holes on the older leaves but nothing on the newer look at this it's perfect and these are ready to harvest pretty soon um, they're starting to form that head probably in the next couple weeks i'll be able to harvest this well if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind